What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son Tech once again, and I have so. By the feed the bears. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son Tech once again, and I have some great news for the GPU miners out there today. We have a report coming from WCCF Tech. Of course, this is going to be rumor, but the AMD RX 6800 is rumored to be 50% faster than the RTX 3090 at mining or cryptocurrency mining the report is coming through video cards where they found a message posted on qq which was shared via chipple and essentially what we find is that the card just arrived somebody has it in hands it looks like it's of course uh, not not states based or or even western based and it reached one and a half times the performance of the 3090 and possibly more I, I don't know obviously there's overclocking bios mods tons of stuff that we're going to be able to mess with but if this is in fact true where the rtx 3090 makes at this time between 90 to 100 dollars a month and that was about a 1500 dollars graphics card a one and a half times increase would mean that we are making about 135 to 150 per month on Ethereum from a $580 graphics card. We are talking about slashing those ROI times in half, essentially. Right now, the best GPU to mine with, in my opinion, is going to be the RX 5700, where you can overclock it. And your payback is about 10 months on the ROI. Your ROI on these cards, rumored, if you can get your hands on them, is going to be like five months or less, which is just insane. I mean, it's really probably around like four months, but let's say five months after power. Uh, it's it's going to be incredibly profitable. And this is super exciting if you're in the world of cryptocurrency mining, because while there are the ASICs options, not as much anymore for Ethereum, they're hard to buy and the ROI is not great. Having GPUs as opposed to ASIC means that you're able to mine other coins later once ETH moves on to ETH 2.0 and goes full proof of stake and so on. So you have a little bit of a buffer there. Not to mention, additionally on these GPUs, what's going to be super awesome is the resaleability because the... The 6800, the 6800 XT, and the 6900 are all going to be in pretty good demand for quite a while, meaning essentially because this is going to be the beginning of the launch cycle, you should have a couple years to sell them to gamers, no problem, after the fact, if you want to get out of cryptocurrency mining. Now, all this talk is super, super duper controversial, and I get it. But here is the article from WCCF Tech. Here's the original post, as you can see. You can kind of get some of the numbers off of it, even if you don't use like a translator or something where it says like 6,800, 3,900, one and a half times, exclamation point, excited. And this is off chipball.com. We'll leave links to the sources down in the description below. But just to clarify, as you can see here from Lean on QQ, AMD 6,800 card, just arrived mining performance at default is amazing this is default no bias mod apparently we're assuming on this rumor that that is also going to mean no overclock on the memory it reached one and a half times the performance of a 3090 or even more i guess none of you will be buying this be able to buy this card what test do you guys want to see so I'm pretty excited. Of course, this is all rumor, conjecture. We don't really know, obviously, for sure. Uh, but, you know, we we do know that Big Navi is coming out swinging. We know it's swinging in the, coming out swinging in the gaming market. It's uh, competing at the top end, and I am super excited. The RX uh, 6800 is going to come out at 579 with the 6800 XT at 649 which even if it's the same hash rate, is still going to be a great buy. And then, of course, we have the 6900 XT coming in at 999 with no rumors yet on the 6900 XT. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next Tuesday.